I know. This shit's been debated a lot lately. Just because it's the beginning of the season and everyone loves to suck the Leafs' cocks. So, in my opinion, the Leafs are the third best team in Canada. Not the second or the first, they're the third. They. No, nah, I wouldn't go as far to say that they're fourth, but. Actually, yeah, fuck it. They're the fourth best team in the league, or in Canada. The Jets are number one. Listen, they're playing in about 10 minutes. The Jets are a well oiled machine at every single level. You got great defensemen because you got the shutdown pair, and Truba and Morrissey are so fucking good together. You got Myers and Bufflin and all these big boys back there. Big. You don't want to fuck around back there. They just have a big team in general, which a lot of people think the NHL is shifting. You know, there's a lot of debate about that. Oh, the Penguins, they're the small, fast team. Well, the biggest team in the league last year was the Washington Capitals, and they won the Stanley Cup, so you still need to be big to fucking win. And if I look at the Leafs, other than Morgan Riley, there's not... One defenseman that I like at all. Like, if there was no Morgan Riley on that back end, that might be the worst defensive core in the league. Gardner sucks. Like, can we just admit that? Gardner fucking sucks. Zaitsev is not that good. Like, Hainsey is old as fuck. Like, these guys are just not good. And the Jets, man, even the Oilers. I think the... I put them at four... I'd put Calgary and Edmonton above them. Now you're probably saying, Edmonton, what the fuck? Listen, they're going to be good. I'm telling you. This is not a team that could not make the playoffs again. This is such a stacked roster. I'm telling you, as soon as they get their legs back from that stupid fucking Germany trip, why the fuck do they send them there? Same thing with the Flames to China. Why do you, like, they're just fucking them over for the beginning of the season. So, I think that... When it's all said and done, the standings, Winnipeg will be probably the best team in the league. I mean, Shifley, can I not say enough about Shifley? I think he's he's probably, other than McDavid, he might be the best player in Canada. I'm trying to think here. Yeah, I think other than McDavid, this guy might be the best player in Canada because he's I think he's better than anyone on the Leafs he's better than anyone on the Senators yeah I think this guy this guy's so fucking good when you look at him like you just gotta watch him to see how fucking good he is and he puts up the stats also but you know I'll put Calgary at 2 we'll put Edmonton at 3 we'll put Calgary at 2 and Listen, also, they're they're probably pretty fucking gassed from that stupid China trips and the Bruins also. But, listen, the Flames' problem all these years, they had one good line. That was their problem. Now, I mean, that defensive core in Calgary is also very fucking solid. Giordano, Brody, Hannafin, that new kid Valimaki looks pretty good. You still get Hamnick coming back. This is a really, really, really good defensive core. And I love Monaghan. Sean Monaghan, one of the most underrated players in the league. This is a big two-way center. That's what you need to win. And Backlund, another guy who's underrated. They just got a bunch of underrated guys down there. But like I said before, the problem was before, they never had depth. They had one good line. Now you've got that big line with Lynn Holm on it now with Johnny and Monaghan. <laughs> And you got Backlund and Kachuk on the second line. That's Kachuk had uh, 20-something goals last year. This is a good player. And Backlund, great two-way center. And then now they have Neal and Dubé on the third line, which is really nice. You have that guy on the third line who is going to get you offense. What happened with the Penguins all these years, or these last few years? Crosby, Malkin, and then on the third line you had Kessel, who could still create especially against those matchups. So, yeah, that that'll be that'll be uh the top 4 teams. Might as well just give the next 3 A, so so we'll go Montreal at 5. 
Ottawa at six and Vancouver at seven. Listen, Vancouver's got a bright future. All these teams have bright futures. There's not one team in Canada that you wouldn't be like, that's a shitty situation. Sens have a bunch of young guys, and they've looked pretty good to start the season. Obviously, those first four are probably going to make the playoffs. And then if you're Vancouver, you got that Patterson kid looking pretty fucking good. If you're Montreal, Shea Weber is not even back yet. So it's very positive up here for hockey. I think we're going to have a, a Stanley Cup winner in Canada very soon, and I'm fucking pumped about it.